Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a discontinued mechanical entry in the Tag Heuer Formula One collection. This is the Formula One Calibre. Five. We shall say Calibre 5 because it is, after all, a French spelling of caliber. Now, the timepiece is tonneau shaped in stainless steel and 41 millimeters in diameter by 11.9 millimeters thick, 46.1 millimeters from lug to lug, and it has a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll throw this watch on my wrist, and my wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference, and you can see the timepiece wears broad, flat, and comfortable. Realistically, a modern sports watch under 12 millimeters thick with a unidirectional bezel, high degree of water resistance, and automatic winding is quite rare. So this is an unusually dress cuff compliant and compatible uh, sports watch option. It's probably too big for most female wrists. That said, it would work well as a sports and dress two-way player for a man, and you can see it really does slide pretty easily underneath the cuff. A quick look at the bracelet. It's a fairly standard sporting three-link design that you can see in profile. Uh, there's a little bit of an unconventional cross-section to these links, and when you look a little bit closer, you appreciate that there's some calculated gapping on the underside so that the bracelet will not pinch skin or pull hair. You can also see that the removable links are fixed in place by screws, not pin sleeves, which is an unexpected and much appreciated refinement for a luxury watch at this price point. We have a single fold stamped clasp, and then you can see internally we have both a pull-out dive style extension, and then three different divots where you can use your strap tool to re-anchor the bracelet. So you can do some fine sizing using the divots. You've got your fold out, whether you're using the Formula One over a dive suit or a Nomex race suit, and then you have quite a few removable links, so you should be able to get a very exact fit here. And you've got the little clamshell lock with the Tag Heuer shield to keep everything secure. The case has relatively strong angular lug profiles, though the lugs are integrated into a fluid rounded case band. We have satin finish on the lug hoods and polish on the side, and then we have a sc screw down crown with a double edged knurling, and you can see that it actually has a wonderful grip. You can't feel the knurling, but I'm going to let you know that it's a tactile pleasure to use. I like a dive watch with a crown that's easy to grip because you might be using it when your hands are wet. We have a small shear guard structure on both sides for the crown with a tag hoyer shield outboard. And though the watch is not strictly speaking a diver, it does have a unidirectional rotating bezel. Let's hear the ratchet. Quite precise. Uh, the one shortcoming, of course, being that the index at 60 does not have a luminescent pearl. So I'm going to describe this as more of a dive style watch than a true diver. You can see the bezel is a combination of satin finish as well as high polish for dramatic contrast. And then the dial is black with rhodium plated applique steel indices. Again, for the price point, uh, just like the assembly of the bracelet with screws rather than pin sleeves, the applique features of this dial feel like a refinement you'd expect at a higher price point. The hands are large and faceted down their center for higher contrast. Then you can see this is the Tag Heuer Formula One Caliber 5. Inside we have an ETA 28242. It is a 25 joule automatic winder beaten away at 8 beats per second, bi-directional winding with stop seconds and a quick set date and a 38 hour power reserve. It is a very, very tough movement and ideal for a sports watch. All of this is, as you can see on the reverse side, water resistant down to 200 meters. And though it is more of a dive style watch than a motorsports inspired one, you can see that the Formula One nomenclature is honored on the reverse side with a checkered flag motif. And of course, Hoyer and Tag Hoyer, in parts of its illust history, have been timers of Formula One, and that is an illustrious story that spans both the Hoyer and the Tag eras. And of course, Technique d'Avant-Garde, or TAG, behind the Tag Hoyer nomenclature, was also the TAG behind TAG McLaren, so we are rife with motorsports associations here. The watch is well loomed. As you can see, in the dark, plenty of glow. Whether you're wearing it for the Monaco Grand Prix in broad daylight or the 24 hours of Le Mans in the dead of night. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.